scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I know we are different as far as the dimensions of God revealed to us is concerned. But I want you to know that every man who genuinely names the name of Christ and loves him is doing his best with the information he knows to do you must be careful there are people making mistakes i agree there are people in ignorance i agree but let's be careful as we point fingers at people especially in this end time some of the most unusual men will be carrying mantles in these end times that will make some of us bend our head in shame forever we must be careful enugu united you stand but divided you fall a politician can come out for election and fail woefully and you see him and laugh at him and put your hand on your head till you fall down he's watching you that's your governor you just laughed at the day he becomes a governor he will look for where your church is and he will say they have a mad road there <laughs> why These are the wisdom keys that many people do not pay attention to. I hope you are not just laughing. You are getting what I'm telling you. Praise the name of the Lord. Mutual honor. When I learned this, I never go to a place and I never go to a territory and dishonor the people there. If you give me the privilege of climbing your pulpit there are times you see me challenging things and i'm hard on people but i must always let you know that it's from a standpoint of love and not sarcasm you will never hear me talking about any man of god to criticize i will challenge wrong doctrines i will challenge wrong things but it is not a ministry god gave me to point fingers at people no you will never see me climb if I climb on this pulpit and the rule of that church is no moving around the pulpit this is where I'm going to stay till I finish preaching it will not stop the people from hearing what they're saying it will not stop fire from falling fire can fall while standing here listen adaptation is proof of honor you must learn to have a high level of adaptability many of you wonder why you see me preach across different denominations that have different doctrinal divides i have my core beliefs i have my core spiritual values but i'm able to be flexible enough as this man is playing keyboard for me please stop for a moment there are churches you don't play this while the sound is on when you go there don't say my own i know how i charge my atmosphere have different networks in the spirit so that you know how to come in, to connect to MTN, Airtel, different ways. Sit down, please. I have to pray. I don't want to keep us here for too long. Are we learning something tonight? Hear me. There are places, don't feel bad, please. There are churches you go to teach. Maybe their ethics and their rule is that you either are in corporate or suit honor them don't go and say me 
I know what the day Jesus appeared to me, I was wearing a tracksuit. I agree with you. I'm not fighting your revelation. But can you, can you have that adaptation? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Listen, if we do not practice mutual honor, I promise you this conference will only come and go and every other thing will continue that way. But for mutual honor, mutual honor, if the protocol are doing a nice job, don't look at them and say, do your work. Well done, sir. God bless you. And they feel encouraged. Let somebody try to touch you and you see what they will do because you have honored them. A man of God comes and sows a seed of 10 million. Don't send him a text and say, thanks, God bless you. Abba, 10 million is much now. Have some time to honor the person and say, look, we appreciate this. All blessings come from God, but we realize that you have done this as a communication of love and honor for this building. And I'm the pastor. I feel it as a responsibility to come and say thank you. Or you write a letter and the man says, because of what you have done, this is only the first phase. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Honor prolongs benevolence. Anywhere you show honor, the benevolence has been given the strength for continuity. Is God speaking to us tonight? Again, someone shout honor. honor. Now, aside from the men of God, don't go there. All of you, I want you to stand and in one minute, walk up to someone and just appreciate the person and tell the person, I truly honor you. It doesn't matter whether you know the person or not. Don't come and waylay the man of God. Don't, please don't come and waylay the man of God. Go ahead. You are appreciating the next apostle. Some of you, you are appreciating your wife. I honor the grace of God upon your life. I may not know you. Don't look for the people you know or your church members. I didn't say to go to your church members. I honor you yes i know you're a man of god we fought last year but it's over it's over it's over we are all servants of god it's the same heaven we are going to please return back to your seat rejoicing lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace the world's of pride and prejudice shall see When we are your instruments. Oh, look what is happening to the ministers. My goodness. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. Regardless denomination. Enugu. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. Sing it one more time with revelation. Let the devil hear you know. The church is marching on. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Hear me anybody that comes into your city to cause division show him the gate of the city and tell him not in any good state carry your trouble and leave this city there is a lot that god is doing no 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 please don't go to the man of god the unity is all right we've we've we've, we've greeted one another just please go back so that we don't have chaos we are going to pray god sees your heart god will honor you man of god and bless you in the name of jesus are we together that a time will come when a particular church is holding a crusade and a pastor that is not even related will pay for 30 buses 
and say transport people to and fro if they ask you say a fellow co-laborer has come to partner what is the name of the church is not necessary just know that we want jesus to be lifted are we together now the truth is that hear me we will define doctrine we will define modus operandi anybody who does not name the name of jesus and anybody who does not represent jesus is not part of those i'm talking about i have to balance this we are talking about those who fundamentally agree that there is one lord one faith one baptism there are certain beliefs that we may define no worry it's not too much of a reason to cause division enugu the greatest strength that will come will come from a united force if somebody comes and says i am a herbalist i must destroy this church suddenly you will hear voices from every altar what did you say and he said no 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 i was just talking about one person he said no there is no one person in enugu we are a united team you want to attack one man of god you will have to destroy all of us and the devil lets you go no man can come into the house of a strong man and spoil that man Enugu, it is not the charms that the herbalists are making. That's not what is stopping the progress of the church. It is not the divinations and incantations. It is that the strong men have been bound. I'm here to lose them. To lose them. Can I tell you this? Provided a family is still fighting one another. This our firstborn is a millionaire. He will not listen to us as if they are the ones who gave him the money they have refused to acknowledge that it was through diligence god blessed him and they become entitled you must bless us and he says continue your nonsense there the day that family decides to be united forgive one another sir we respect you you came out of this family and today god has blessed you we don't trivialize you and he now looks and says even though i am lifted i am still your brother you see that unity they will now turn and say where is the power that does not want this family to move and the devil has to listen because everybody is saying the same thing the moment you are saying something else the devil has cheated you one voice the reason why many terrorists prevail over several parts of africa and even our nation is because largely they have one voice if the voice is destruction they remain there if the voice is mayhem they remain there tonight god has come to shake the church in enugu and east of the niger to say it is no longer just about catholic and anglican and presbyterian and any other church together we are a united force yes i know you may not pray in tongues like me but don't worry it's too small a reason we are still lifting jesus high i know that you may not do this but and the devil says what happened now how do we destroy enugu how do we and you will begin to see such a rise of prosperity and wisdom and increase and power the moment you see a man of god crying you don't need to ask him what denomination you are a servant of the living god why are you crying ministry i'm tired i'm about to give up and he said not when i'm here you are not giving up when i'm here is he not rent how much is it look let's rally around i know that you were careless you made mistakes with your finances but god can restore but that shame it is not the devil who will laugh at the church come let us cover this shame and when that is done we can now teach you how to do it right can i tell you this many of you need to return back let me give you let me challenge you Go back and put a hashtag United Enugu together we stand from this conference. Let your family members know 
this is not a political thing oh. let me give a disclaimer now so that you don't say apostle came to do politics i'm a man of god i'm encouraging unity call your brother and say my friend you've been in london for 10 years you have refused to come and see us it's all right we came here and we had a message there is a dimension of grace god is giving you that this family needs we need you back come there are dimensions that we may never experience there is a grace god has given this man there is a grace god has given this man there is a grace god has given this church there is a grace god has given this one for this church god gave them the grace for prayer for this great god god gave them the, the the grace for consecration and holiness and purity when you find out that the flesh is growing one salmon one salmon from that ministry will damage the flesh permanently there are others god has given them the grace for wealth and prosperity there are others god has given them the grace for leadership excellence and administration when you come together you will become a balanced individual prosperous holy anointed with the spirit of revelation with doctrinal soundness having character having prosperity having maturity having influence having excellence that is god's church the body of christ <laughs> hallelujah so when they tell you someone is sick and is about to die you know you don't have the healing anointing yet there's no need sitting down there and letting the person die because of ego like doctors recommending themselves you can say there is a man of god i know in Enugu. there is grace on his life man of god can you help me one of my members is about to die and he will stand in that office and say you have provoked that office we will not lose one in the body in the name of jesus christ when that man is healed and you want the healing anointing you can meet him and say talk to me god has granted you such a grace i need this grace on my altar and he says look i had a revelation but i studied scripture this is what i did this do and you will see what i saw the church has increased you are not having increase people come to your church receive miracles and go and there is someone god is increasing don't just say he's using charms and criticize him humble yourself man of god there is grace upon your life and he says look manage some of these excesses you are doing in church all this jumping up and down settle down teach the people doctrine create an atmosphere that can allow responsible people come to your church now you have helped that person because he that told the person was just anointed but childish no immature no maturity no soundness of doctrine no coordination no excellence no leadership now you have introduced these missing dimensions members can now come and begin to stay because they have a pastor that reflects maturity that they can be members in that church you're a man of god you are doing well but you are always struggling financially you notice your members are also struggling financially don't start creating a theology out of your pain and say don't worry money does not matter you are failing in that area just admit it and find one who god has helped and granted grace it's amazing that what is a mountain to you someone near you already has the grace to turn it to a valley if only you can be humble to receive you had reverend dan's testimony and his dear wife 13 years trusting god for the fruit of the womb he would have remained like that till Jesus would come. Or he would have written a book that don't, the era of miracles are over. But there is always a grace within reach. Today, there are parents with twins, wonderful, bubbling children serving the Lord. Now, please look at me. We're about to pray. I apologize. I know my time is gone. Right where you are standing, whose grace have you dishonored? within your land that god has sent to be for your lifting your prayer life has gone down whereas there is a man of god seated here with the grace for prayer there are prayer groups here that you can encounter the grace for prayer and damage spiritual laziness once and for all
have you ignored that grace i told you i will give you three keys for unity one is love two is mutual honor the third is forbearance what is forbearance accommodate weaknesses and limitations accommodate perspectives that are that are different from what you know it does not have to be what you believe for you to receive people no if it is not the way my church does it i don't believe it that is an error there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism forbearance is the ability to be accommodating yes i know in your church you may have ac very beautiful line arrays but maybe this ministry you have come they may not have all of those things do you have the flexibility to still forbear forbearance is powerful i go to minister in many places and i have i'm generally a conservative person i'm not jumping 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 but i go for meetings and sometimes you see people jump and laugh and they're happy and they run up and down sometimes they even fly on one another like they're fighting wrestling forbearance the most important thing is to communicate christ i may not do that in my own ministry but you must be flexible is that true yes you must learn to forbear just because it is not the way you know it to be does not mean god is not there you must have the flexibility there is a way you pray the day you go somewhere and you find out that prayer is not done that way don't be too quick to conclude have a heart that accommodates this is the key to unity i'm connected to a lot of men of god people in ministry across the globe and sometimes for some of these people we have very differing perspectives in many things but it's not enough reason some believe in deliverance and only deliverance some don't, don't mention the word deliverance some don't believe it does it's not enough reason to fight we are not a political party here you can still hug yourselves and when the person says, ah, i'm seeing a demon somewhere and you don't believe in that don't just turn and say you have come with this your rubbish forbear 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 are you learning something tonight forbear forbear tolerate some of you have siblings who are talkatives when they greet you before they say how is mommy and dad is already one hour Brrr, and you are a quiet disciplined calculated and intentional individual you can get very wary and say how, how do you ever succeed making noise like this no no you must have a large heart that accommodates there are men of god who will stand on the pulpit and like our father baba deboe they may be quiet somebody shout hallelujah somebody do this but there are others when they stand on that pulpit you'll be praying that the pulpit should not even fall it does not mean god is not working with them no just because you are used to it being a certain way does not mean it is the only way you must have forbearance hallelujah so if you go to a church if you don't like the dance group that is dancing just forbear it's only 10 minutes they have it's not enough to destroy your faith allow them finish dancing and go and sit down oh you don't like the choreography no problem just forbear then the children now come in with their special number they will make mistakes their heart will fall they will fight one and just forbear allow the children be featured too don't sit down and be too mature and say what is this i came for i just came out of a retreat i know nobody is doubting your call but let the children also serve jesus <laughs> hallelujah and you may go to a church and find maybe it's their thanksgiving and people are dancing they will take three steps forward and move back and move back and take just for beer don't sit down and say look at how they are. these people are carnal no you are the one who is carnal they are celebrating god the way they know you must forbear 
hallelujah listen we're about to pray i'm not wasting your time don't go around insulting pastors don't go around insulting members don't go around comparing pastors members sometimes are the ones who join the heads of men of god saul killed one thousand david killed ten thousand when saul hears what do you think he will do oh apostle joshua selman came to town come and see what happened mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. we do not have the ministry of outshining or the ministry of demeaning we are only contributors to lift up the hands of the servants of god in the land to the end that jesus be revealed and jesus be glorified i am not in any way in the flesh better than any of these veterans of the gospel you see what you see happen is an election of grace and the privilege that god has given i must be wise enough to know that even though they honor me it is not to mean they are demeaning their own anointing are we together now don't come and thank god for you sowing seeds to my life but make sure you also do it to your pastor too don't go around blessing other people and leave the primary person that god is using to feed you is hypocrisy love mutual honor husband go back home and meet your wife and say wife i don't want to take it for granted that every week you cook for me don't say i paid your dowry that some of those statements are demonic statements it's not a christian statement thank you thank you for having the discipline in the rain and in sunshine and then you wife when they are appreciating you like that don't just say a hair uh -uh. only a wise husband can produce such a wise wife you, you see that now you are balancing the equation now and the devil that wants to cause trouble in that marriage now is the one who is left for shame and children parents pay your school fees they labor to help you don't come and say i didn't ask you to to, to, to you know to to uh, what do they call it i didn't ask you to bring me here that's that's not a why that's a childish statement daddy thank you it was in my presence i saw people did not write exams some their final year exams but thank you for always granting me that school fees today i'm a graduate and i have come to honor you thank you sir honor are we together somebody comes and does something nice for the city don't sit down and say let them not do it now no thank you sir for being thoughtful enough we have been suffering lack of water here you came and now brought borehole don't say instead of him to even make it electronic he now made it at least he tried you see there is a spirit we have in africa that i'm praying the spirit of of dishonor and ingratitude if somebody brings a bag of rice even if it's a small bag thank god that he was thoughtful enough to bring it don't say at his level look at what he, he, he should come and carry this nonsense out of this house. don't think like that can i tell you this till when people bless me whether it's 100 naira whether it's 50 naira it is with the same passion of gratitude i receive if you like bring one billion you bring one naira I am grateful to all of them more than what they gave is the heart that can isolate you to honor you this much are we together now are you ready to pray these are the keys that I have learned go back to your church and teach your workers heads of department don't fight yourself ordained workers don't fight yourself this evil man god will punish him for us in this department and you are serving there you will not receive the blessing that comes let me tell you this men will offend you men are limited but you must sustain the grace today i am able to dispense the anointing with this degree of results because i am a product of many anointings when I came, I sat down, sorry to have to say it. You saw me talking to our father before I came up. I held his hands and said, Daddy, I honor you and our mommy and I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, sir. That's what I was saying. 
we were in Enugu, we were in Nsuka just a few days ago. Reverend Vindiolu was there. Our father, the bishop, at his age, drove down to Nsuka. And I said, Ah, this man at this age, he came with our mother this morning. She's still here tonight. Several of these people you see, only God knows the conferences and the programs that they shut down to be here. How dare you dishonor them because you are appreciating Joshua Selman? How many of me can change this city by myself? I'm only here for this night and I'm gone. But these are the ones who remain lifting up the name of Jesus in the east of the Niger. Never honor me at the detriment of these graces. Listen. Prayer groups. Your little leaders that God, I, God is helping. Don't despise them. Love them and respect them. That gentleman you see shouting and sweating under a tree. There is a grace upon him. Don't honor the men of God and ignore the protocol. You see how long these gentlemen have been standing? They have been standing even while you are sitting down. If this is a night vigil, this is how they will stand. Don't dishonor them. What of those who were about cooking for us? One of our mothers here has been doing... <laughs> the sacrifice that this woman of God has been making she also came for the meeting but the sacrifice how dare you dishonor them what of those who have been driving me around since I came some of these security guys they are driving the cars you see them running up and down what of this cameraman this gentleman has been walking up and down like as if he doesn't have what to do snapping people up and down whereas he too wants to receive you must honor everyone Without the person who sets the stage, the sermon can't be effective. Without the person who fix the mic, our media people are somewhere there. When I was lashing them yesterday, you were laughing at them. But those guys deserve honor. Because if this screen is shut down, what of you who left your house and came? Some of you since afternoon, you were here. No matter how, listen, listen no matter how anointed we are if you are not here we are not in ministry it's an uncomfortable truth but it is the truth in the multitude of men it's a king's honor if you have a vision without men the vision will still perish please rise up on your feet for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord one more time for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Once you are standing, I'd like you to pray for the unity of the church in Enugu. Lift your voice and pray. Father, bind us together in love. Every church mention the name of any church you know mention the name of any man of god you know lord let us shelve away every prejudice mention the name of every ministry regardless denominational barriers we make up our minds that this is the season of unity it doesn't matter what assembly you identify with locally speaking united we stand Divided we fall, united we stand, divided we fall, Enugu united you stand, are you praying, divided you fall, east of the Niger, united you stand, divided you fall. Shalakata 
that they may be one as we are one that the preachers may be one as we are one having a sense of love one towards another genuine heartfelt sincere love having a sense of mutual honor one towards another beyond results beyond achievements having a sense of forbearance one towards another hallelujah now there are three things i'm going to do very quickly our time is up we've had moments where we've prayed number one is i'm going to minister healing and deliverance in the next maybe two to three minutes just speak over those who are sick in body and those who have been oppressed number two i'm going to prophesy and speak prophetically over lives that these doors and these gates be opened number three i'm going to repeat what we did last year again i will ask our father the bishop and our mother when it is time alongside maybe a few pastors that will be selected to come and stand upon this altar representing the church over enugu and the east of the niger and they will stand and blow a shofar and announce a new season of strength of power of revival of transformation and of growth are we ready for that pray in one minute every burden that i came here with must leave now lift your voice and pray everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be restored unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be restored unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah hallelujah now i want to rebuke every spirit and every power that is not of the christ sitting over the destinies of men now we are united force away with offense away with bitterness from yesterday and today there have been massive outpourings of the spirit i want to pray now very quickly father in the name that is above all names over enugu state over the east of the niger i come by the power of the holy spirit and i declare that every spirit sitting upon the glory and the destinies of man I decree and declare right now at the count of three as you shout the name Jesus those powers and those forces are dislodged I want you to bring them out one my God two three shout Jesus I command those powers release destinies now release every destiny under captivity help them please I cause those destinies in the name of jesus christ i declare right now fire from heaven every altar that will not release you and let you go we set it on fire now we set it on fire now bring them out i'm still praying the lord is showing me what looks like stones I'm seeing like three stones and I'm seeing it with the pictures of men on it. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying, set it on fire. I don't know whose destiny has been caged by the orchestrations of witchcraft. But right now at the count of three, 
as you shout the name of Jesus, may fire burn those altars. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I give the check for Lynn. I give the check for Lynn. I give the chance for me. Shut the gates, I give the chance. I give the chance. I give the chance. Hey, Kalis, cut the lakos, cut the lakos. Hallelujah. Now I want to attack the spirit of delay. Hear me. As I pray this prayer, the power of God will come on many people. They will start running for some of them as I declare speed. Father, in the name of Jesus, every destiny that has been kept down by the power that raised Christ from the dead, at the count of three, let the yoke and altar of delay. One, two, three, take speed in your life. Speed in your life. Speed in your life. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I cause delay. I cause delay. I cop a shkote basia. A gratas kateka toskete. I cause delay. Delay in achievement. Delay in ministry. I rebuke you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Who is Okechuku? Okechuku, I'm hearing the name like Okechuku. We don't have the time. Okechuku, you are wearing, there are two of you. You are one. The other person is wearing yellow. Okechuku, this is what I'm seeing in a vision. There is an Okechuku wearing a yellow dress. Is there someone like that? Oh dear. What's your name? Come, stand. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is going to come on one of you right now. A strong anointing. Destroying every yoke that is not of God. Let it fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus. This door that I see closed for Okechuku. I declare it open right now. Open right now. Help them open right now. Hallelujah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm hearing a name Elizabeth. There's someone with that name. We have to hurry up. We shouldn't stay. Ah, mommy. Elizabeth. A new chapter is opening for Elizabeth. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Elizabeth there is a woman here you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb five years five years one two three four five please who is that oh dear I wish we had time but we have to hurry up five years who is that person please very quickly let me know when that person is here because the season of that person has come in the name of Jesus Christ Elizabeth by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare right now that everything that is stopping the opening of a new season this lady going back this tap that lady for me 
lift your hands where you are i'm seeing oil coming on your head i don't know you but in the name of jesus even though i'm praying for these people the lord is saying i should announce to you that a new season is opening for your life and your destiny a new season is opening for your life and destiny in the name of jesus christ father i declare my god i just saw like fire moving from my left to my right over elizabeth fire may that grace come upon you now in the name of jesus let it bring to end every season and open you up to a new one i declare this by the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah i prayed a prayer in the morning and i'm seeing that thing happen again the lord is ministering to me that there are a number of ministers here you have struggled at a particular level of grace but god wants to multiply his hand upon your life i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number eight fire is coming on eight people among the ministers here father at the count of three may that grace rest on them one my god two three take that fire take that fire help this woman please take that fire please help that woman in the name of jesus take that fire new level in your ministry new level some of you i'm seeing you climb ladders you are climbing ladders in the spirit is a symbol of a new season step into that new season of glory in the name of jesus christ let me pray for the sick now please lay your hands five years the holy spirit is still speaking to me trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that is there someone like that all of you all of you i want to pray for you please just lay your hand on your stomach as a point a prophetic point of contact just let them be that's all right my friend shout jesus as loud as you can help him take that grace you will never be the same again in the name of jesus christ right now in the name of jesus please believe that there is a grace that can open the, the door of a womb it doesn't matter the medical report just release your faith in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, every power that is Papa Katuka Sikete Beliata, Magadu Zaziana Katos Kete Brende Gelikata. Why am I seeing fire just rising from the altar here? In the name of Jesus, everything that has stopped fruitfulness, Enazira Sikate La Kojiata, Gare Katosiata, help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and anything that wants to destroy your child fruitfulness fire from heaven is coming upon you right now I open this womb now in Jesus name according to the time of life I declare return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children return with your miracle children in the name of jesus madam i'm seeing something that looks like fire on your stomach i don't know why fire is burning on your stomach but in the name of jesus christ whether it's for yourself or someone you're standing for let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please lay your hands let's pray for the sick we have to wrap up father i pray right now for everyone who is trusting god for a miracle in their health just help the lady that shouts now under the anointing don't bring her out but just help her so she does not injure herself i just saw a vision and i had that sound we are praying for the sick now in the name that is above all names agree with me as i pray in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ wow I've not even begun the prayer I'm seeing the Lord taking away lump in the breast breast lump it's going now by the power of the Holy Spirit now I rebuke every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus be delivered right now I command that spirit let God's people go now in Jesus name I bring you life and I bring you healing be healed right now in Jesus name be healed right now in Jesus name blind eyes be opened now in the name of Jesus deaf ears be opened now in the name of Jesus all bone conditions be healed now in the name of Jesus blood conditions be healed now in the name of Jesus heart palpitations system and organ failure be restored now in the name of Jesus every ur urinary problem I'm seeing the Lord heal a urinary problem in the name of Jesus be healed right now someone you have difficulty breathing this has been even before COVID so this is not about COVID you have difficulty breathing sometimes you feel as if you are choking the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ any genotype here that needs to change we change you by the power of the Holy Spirit every damaged organ liver kidney heart be restored now every infection in your body I declare healing for you right now if there is anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has planned that you will not see the end of this year in the name of Jesus I command death to leave your habitation now I command death to leave your habitation now I'm holding my stomach because there is someone here having severe pain rambling around your stomach month in month out this continues to happen the power of God is touching you right now the power of Jesus is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ any medical report here that is a death sentence cancer HIV hepatitis of all sorts in the name of Jesus be healed right now Please believe it be healed right now there's someone you have severe swelling severe swelling around your feet in the name of Jesus I command that swelling to go down now now every other case whether I mentioned it or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed right now be restored right now in the name of Jesus Christ now please let me have your attention very quickly I want to invite I don't know the people who are going to invite but okay there is a list okay can you call the list very quickly as he calls it please just celebrate them as they come because we are going to make declarations over the east of the Niger and over Enugu state we are going to be declaring by the spirit that the gates will open please make sure you participate yes sir our papa, bishop, please celebrate bishop as he comes our father our papa bishop jonathan Anozie. please celebrate them as they come let's celebrate the father papa reverend edwin Bayebo. are you celebrating them our papa reverend akuma please celebrate these ones as they come our mama bishop help bishop. Bogo's wife 
Someone help our mother as she comes up, please. Are you celebrating grace? Yeah. Listen, let me tell you this. Even in heaven, around the throne, there are 24 elders. The eldership is mandated with the grace that can stand and speak over a territory and make declarations even over territories and declare that these territories be opened hallelujah and i'm going to pass the mic we'll start from um our, our, our pastor our bishop and then right to our father to end now it does not mean that they are the only servants of god it's just a, a representation but what i want you to do please as they make declarations Enugu state east of the niger open up your spirit we are announcing prophetically to principalities and powers that a new season is opened by the spirit of god are we in agreement on this i know you have been standing but this is the final phase except for health reasons may i encourage you to please stand in honor to these fathers father in the name of jesus the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west tonight we declare the rising of a new wave of revival in the name of jesus we declare the rising of peace in eastern nigeria in the name of jesus we declare an end of terrorism an end of criminality an end of every manner of bloodshed in eastern nigeria in the name of jesus we declare that the power of the holy spirit will sweep across the eastern part of nigeria with a new wave of revival in the mighty name of jesus father we declare in the place of agitation let there be revival let there be prosperity let there be abundance let there be peace let there be fairness let there be justice let there be equity let there be empowerment let the youth receive jobs let there be soundness of heart and of mind in the name of jesus we declare no more deaths no more kidnapping no more terrorism no more ritual killings in eastern nigeria in the name of jesus and finally we declare let the church in the east arise arise like the sun that is set on the east let the sun let the, let the sun arise let the church of god arise with a new mantle that will spread across the rest of the nation in jesus mighty name we pray Father, we speak, O oh God, and the entire East for the unity of the body of Christ. Lord, we declare a mighty wave of your glory upon the churches in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the government in the Southeast. We rebuke the spirit of division and we decree a powerful unity among the governors in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we declare an open heaven, O oh God, in the entire Southeast, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we speak, O oh God, that the powers of destruction, the powers of bloodshed, will cease in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. mighty and everlasting father we thank you at this moment for the restoration of the voice and the position of the church in nigeria we give you praise we give you honor we give you glory and i decree and i declare even now that the north will listen the south will listen east and west will submit to the authority of your name in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare an open door for your name to be glorified in this land. Father, we commit 
sound is in your hand that you begin a revival that life cannot annul in the name of Jesus Christ thank you for what you began doing you will finish in righteousness in Jesus name in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father, we pray for unity. Let there be unity, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let there be unity among Christendom in the name of Jesus. Let there be love among us in the name of Jesus. Let us forbid one another in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against uh, uh, there will be no kidnapping in the name of Jesus. No husband will operate in Israel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We cover our nation with the blood of Jesus. We cover Southeast with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I weba when I say me sin jedabara gakase ma Aye me jeozo nwike Aye me jeozo amoro nwa Aye akabwe accident ni nenozo In Jesus name Dinin in Azofia, Unugan went to lose it at Tatagaba. Dina Jolo, Uzafo, and Mary Woo. I never could see Uzina Koraka, the mayor again. Okay, mayor again. Okay, mayor again. I never got it to go dika. Oh, Rugin Wakonyan Obinigwe, oh, Rimo Kaisite, oh, Kuni no Kuleba, and Yan Ali and Aha Jesus. Ubuda in South East, I become Manaha Jesus. If we fun, if we fun, Nine, and Nagonaha Jesus. Oba Konine, Eben Sobode, Oba Kogi, Eben Sobode. Ebenina Julugo in Aha Jesus. Ndine Josi, Ndine Josi, Ndine Josi. Iki Kereze Panata, Oko Sigona Palia. Unu Kusia Emeni Koga, the Guamao. I ain't a Kuli Rokwanaga, I ain't a Kulnaga. Now, I ain't got day. A Zinu no Gane Wong of Quemen. Eh, ndio lo di chiche, ndio lo di chiche, ndi government, ndio zondia. Aga na kufu ugo fumana ha Jesus. Anye kugie, ma kai kungo onyozo, kai kungo onyozo. Ebe ni ni isi emweta, neme ele, nele. Oga na ganiru. Omo mwa yi kwa wala fia no so Aga ni ego fa oga na aga ni ro Ndi ji ego a ji ego Na lo contract Oza e me pe ogo Anye e me bie A jo a fa Nke sat e si me Ndi na ambago na 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 eba Na internet We ne we tala yi a jo a fa Tell them repent in the name of Jesus. If I'm a, if I'm a, Ghanaian, no Buddha in South East. Abu ni kwenyele. Tizi e men kale se e men ni ne. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels. 
hallelujah one thing i know is that everything that he has declared we stamp and we say amen to it therefore joining my faith with our fathers here alongside the servants of god here alongside the church we stand and we declare gates of enugu hear the word of the lord we decree and declare tonight be open now be open now be open for the advancement of the gospel be open for the prosperity of the citizens be open for increase be open for godliness be open for excellence we pray for every church on this ground and within this region regardless the denomination may fire burn upon every altar and i stand here in partnership with our fathers if there is any altar that has been erected in this region and it is not in the name of the christ all earth we speak to you fight every altar that is not of god we speak by the apostolic and the prophetic every shrine every incantation everything that is not consistent with the character of christ i command every altar may the earth fight and nullify them in the name of jesus christ and we declare that by this time next year let it be that enugu state and even the east of the niger let it be for you from glory to glory revival to revival power to power prosperity to prosperity increase to increase in the name of jesus christ we seal this prophetic prayer tonight in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy ghost god bless you sirs let's honor our father now hear me hold on please hold on before we wrap up this conference my session here we are going to shout seven hallelujah listen hallelujah means halal yeshua it means praise the lord are we together now it's not a blind shout this is the final shout that will bring every wall of jericho down and then bring unity and bring strength that everything we have discussed here i'm going to be doing the counting and you will be shouting are you ready seven hallelujah but let me say this in advance thank you southeast i love you from the depth of my heart from the very depth of my heart bishop reverend daniel and every one servant of god who has helped to make our stay and every time we come comfortable i truly love and honor you sincerely and it is my prayer that together as co-laborers we will continue to present everyone complete in christ in the name of jesus are you ready to shout Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, eh. It's the shout of victory. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, oh. Let the shout of rejoicing fill the Hallelujah, eh. When I count the number, you give a loud shout. That that shout is tequila. 
is a shout that is bringing every mountain are you ready seven hallelujah number one number two Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Hear me. This final shout. Anything that could not stop you from shouting six times, it will never have the power to stop you the seventh time. Are you ready, Southeast? Number seven. Hallelujah. Apostle, thank you so much. Thank you for blessing us. Enugu honors you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold on. Please quickly. Are you aware that Apostle is coming back to Enugu on September? September 16th to 19th. How on the rock? Is bringing him back here. Enugu is implicated. Enugu is in trouble. Hallelujah. Suppose he's coming back this September. Enough dosage. Enough food. Amen. So, um, yesterday. We announced that over six years, Apostle cannot live without the um, communicating honor through covenant sacrifice, covenant seed. I know that some of you may want to see him and give um, honor him, but there won't be time for that. So that's why we are doing it. We are doing it this way. So please, for those of you outside, there will be ushers there that you will drop your own. Now, if you are here and you have yours, come out and drop it. Um, he will be praying for us, praying for the sacrifice. If you come and drop it on the floor, on the floor. Thank you. God bless you. Apostle, thank you for the patience. Thank you. Make sure your seed, your sacrifice is here. Shala Bradoski. Please, for those of you outside, we have our pastors over there. drop it in front of the stand of the screen shila brakos kila dabada mekos kila daya god will honor your sacrifice please do that quick If you drop, you can go back so that we'll have chance for others to drop. Just drop and go back and wait for the final prophetic blessing over your offering, over your sacrifices, over your covenant seed. God bless you.
please if you drop you go back if you drop you go back to your seat if you drop if you, drop, you, go, you go, back. go back to your seat please god bless you if you drop you go back to your seat just go back so that others will have space to go and drop their own seat god bless you don't go without receiving this prophetic blessing he has blessed us in love we we'll have to do this God bless you once you drop you go back please let's make use of the time we have just a few minutes to do this. Blessed is he who come in the name of the God. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Too quick. number please media um, apostles account number please apostles account number media put it for those of you that want to make a transfer Just watching this alone is almost bringing tears out of my eyes because um, this is for many of you these are sacrifices these are things that you have done just sacrifices to show your love and your passion for God but I want you to know one thing that God is no man's debtor God is not a fraudster he will not come to destroy you therefore father we lift up these seeds before you they have sown into this anointing in the name that is above all names i speak to you and i declare my god shall supply all your needs according to his glory by christ jesus i declare that god is able to give your seed another body some of you are sowing in tears may you reap in joy in the name of jesus christ you have sown money may you reap wisdom you have sown money may you reap speed you have sown money may you reap favor in the name of jesus christ that everything that does not name the name of christ let it give way right now may the hand of god rest upon you i turn your seats into altars and i give them voices in the realm of the spirit may they speak for you in the days of adversity the Lord bless you. The Lord honor your sacrifice. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.